Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. I have a mini PC on my bench today. So this is not for repair. This was sent to me by Blackview. They asked if I'd take a look at this. So this is a review sample that was sent to me. However, I'm not being paid to make this review. This will be my honest opinion of it. We've looked at a couple of these before, actually these little mini PCs. These are really ideal little machines. If you want, in my case, something on the workbench, I use it my electronics repair work. I'm often looking things up on the internet. They make great little office machines as well. And they're small, and not only that, but they draw very little power from the main, so they're very economical to run. And this is great when you're in situations where you have the thing running, you know, seven days a week for many hours, okay? So we'll take a look at it, but just before we open the box, let's have a look on the back, see what we have. As we can see, this is the Blackview MP60. We can have a look online for the specs. Let's see how much this costs as well. You know I always like to do this first. Let's see what it costs and then let's see if it's a good investment for the money. Okay, so let's take a look now. And this is the machine. So price 190 euros. That's very much in line with similar ones I've looked at. This has 16 gig of RAM, 512 gig SSD. There's also a one terabyte version as well. So that's 216.95. I don't actually know which one I have. We'll find out in a few minutes. And we can see 390 grams of weight. Quite small, fits into your hand almost. Okay. Dual display, 4K. Intel N5095 processor. All the usual ports you would expect. Silent. This comes with Windows 11 installed, licensed. Okay. And as you can see, these make very nice office machines, very nice media machines, media players, web browsing. We can see this is quad core, 2.9 gigahertz burst frequency or boost, shall we say. Just 10 watts power, yeah. Really doesn't draw much power at all. And you can, if you like, fit up to two terabyte SATA drives in this. So it's expandable, which is quite unusual for such a small machine. So I'll take a look at the machine now. We'll give it a quick run and then Detlef's gonna come along a little bit later with some of his retro games. And let's see how well this works for some casual gaming as well. Let's see what's in the box. Nicely packaged. Here is our little computer. This one actually is quite chunky in this direction compared to most. The actual dimensions are very similar to other ones I have looked at width and height that way but yeah depth is quite deep that one you can see the copper heat sink in here okay instruction book power supply it comes with a hdmi cable and this is a little visa mounting bracket so you can actually mount the computer onto this and then mount this onto the back of your monitor let's take a look at this so we have a slot in the back this um yeah this one is the 512 gig ssd 16 gig ram this clearly comes off little sliders Ah, yeah, so the computer itself actually is fairly slim. This expansion for the hard drive, maybe. Let's have a look. Oh, I see. So this, you can actually put a SATA drive in, SSD or something like that. So, yeah, this is the first time I've seen one of these type expansions on this type of mini computer. I like that actually. And presumably, if you don't want to use the expansion, you can just, yeah, like you can mount the machine like that, okay? That I do like. We have two HDMIs out, one USB here, power in, LAN, headphones, or connecting to some sort of sound system speakers. 
two USB 3 here and another USB so there's two USB 3 a couple of USB 2 I guess so that's reasonably expandable actually but you know what this I do like let's try the machine without the expansion on okay so very quickly and painlessly asked me a few questions as he booted up Windows 11 and that was it so we can see the yeah, SSD is there as we would expect all the devices seem to be installed okay obviously this little machine has built-in Wi-Fi built-in Bluetooth I'm interested to see how easy it is just to set up an external SATA in that little base plate so let's just stick one in there let's see I mean it should just recognize that we guess okay I have a one terabyte Samsung it's not a new one I'm not sure if there's anything actually on this or not so there's nothing to particularly hold it in in that respect but obviously when this is screwed down this little pad here will press against it and also this has to insert as well so if you don't insert the disc properly you can't put the base on <laughs> fairly foolproof that one well that booted up pretty fast to be quite honest let's have a look now yeah so it sees the other drive there there is something on this i thought there was to be quite honest probably came off one of my machines at some point or other okay so adding the extra hard drive is as simple as that as it should be and i think that's the feature i like the most about this i mean that's not so i don't like the little mini pc i've seen a couple of these before but that's the first time i've seen that and i think that's a great addition if you don't want the extra storage space you don't have to have this fitted and then this is the same sort of size as other machines but you've got the option to do that and i think that's really really well thought out i know somebody else who thinks that too that's detlef so detlef has brought in some benchmark software and some retro games so let's put this thing through its paces a little bit and let's see how well it runs and now by the magic of television is Detlef. Yay! Hey, Dad. How, How did you? Yes. You see, <laughs> at my command. Hey, everybody. Yeah. So, Dad, we have this little computer here today, and you thought you'd like to run some benchmarks on yeah, this, and maybe yeah, yeah. a few games. Yeah, I like this little black view. Okay. And normally you build football phones, right? Uh, well, I've reviewed their phones before, which mm -hmm. have the built-in infrared. I associated black view with phones and then it turns out they have quite a few other products yeah, including nice. these mini PCs yeah. yeah yeah and these mini PCs are great I yeah. really like them I have one of the not a black view but I have one of those as a media center but this thing is uh, they have the little bay under there and uh, this is pretty good for a media center so if you want to have something where you go okay I connect this to my TV and have all my music and all my videos on a separate hard drive this yeah. is the way to go excellent excellent yeah and this is an N150 processor as well, which is faster. I mean, the ones we've looked at before were N100. Mm -hmm. This is N150, and that's a current processor. Yeah, I think it's from 2025, right? It's yeah. From the start of this year. Yeah, so yeah. very recent technology. Yeah. So shall we run this benchmark? Which benchmark do you have? Uh, okay, what I would do for this, you know, I could bore you with loads of numbers. Yeah. I could do that. Yeah. What you really care about is how fast does the thing feel? So, um, the most thing I think is, uh, is a factor in there is the hard drive. So okay. I would do one one little uh, benchmark. This is the hard drive benchmark. Okay. And since I've been sitting here now for 10 minutes and installing all this strange stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm not using Crystal hard drive. I like this more and more, more because this gives me some basics here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sorry, this is in German. I think I can set this to English. It okay. is in English and it doesn't switch to Jira too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, you have to trust me there. It's encrypted in German. So, uh, okay. <laughs> so, so this is what the hard drive gives us a speed. Okay. So the two columns, uh, lesser than streaming, is read and write? Yeah. This is write. This is read. Okay. So uh, this is a M, uh, this is an M2 SATA drive. This is so a, SA a real SATA drive. Yeah. Uh, SATA gives you a, b a bit a bit of 600 megabits would be this the max would be. Yeah. It's the, it's, it's the interface. Yeah. So um, this is not the fastest hard drive, but you normally buy these things from multimedia or office. And yeah. for multimedia or office, you don't need 
lightning fast hard drive. Exactly. Also, the actual advertising information for this machine does say it's SATA. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, this would be, well, it's not a real minus, but I would love to see an NVMe drive in there. It gives me a bit more kick because uh -huh. a little CPU doesn't have that much performance left. So what you don't want to do with this thing is video editing. Okay. No, <laughs> not with this hard drive. If you want to do video editing, get a fast hard drive in there. Okay. So that would help a lot. Okay, Jeff, so what are we seeing now? Well, um, I normally like to test, test these little machines with a demo. Uh -huh. So uh, I brought some of my favorite demos from back in the days, and this is an old one. This is from 2006, uh -huh. and this should be a bit more fluffy, mm -hmm. fast, because now you see Assembly 2006. So this is 19 years ago. Yeah. Well, 19 years ago, this was about the same speed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but Fair enough. Always remember this machine is an office machine. It's not built for graphics. And for, you know, from here on, this looks nice. Yes. Yeah. If you've never seen the de demo, this is uh, Chaos from uh, AFG. Um, I can't remember. Okay. Chaos Theory. Yeah. A really nice one. Uh, it's By the way, this all come, runs in uh, 64K. Mm -hmm. So the X is only 64K. And we're actually running this as a resolution of 1600 by something, yeah, yeah at the moment? Yeah. This is not full resolution because uh, the, the demo doesn't do more. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that's running quite nicely actually for this little office machine and a mini PC at that. Yeah, again, we're, we're torturing the little machine right now. Yeah, so uh, this doesn't have a dedicated GPU. This is all included on the little CPU and it's a mobile thing. So uh, yeah, yeah. But if you can run this, obviously this is going to be absolutely fine when you're browsing the net or you're on YouTube, you're playing videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would guess so. So uh, we can try a video, you know. Okay, Let's yeah. play, play a YouTube video. Let's give it a go. Okay, so, hey, there's me, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a video I made recently. I built a tester for MOSFETs. Okay. This, in this case, we were actually developing it. So, yeah, I mean, that's YouTube video running fine, to be quite honest. Absolutely. Yep. And this is one of the use cases. You want to have this as an office machine. You want to have a chance to watch a YouTube video. Let's see if I can switch this to full screen, if I can see my mouse. I'm sure we can. Go full screen. There we go, yeah. And yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, this feels absolutely fluid. Let's see what the resolution is, what it's going for now. 720. So we can, we can set this to a 1080. Yeah, which is the resolution that I record and publish yeah. at anyway. And that's, that's HD, yeah. that's really fine. And the little CPU actually is specified for 4K videos. So Correct. Uh, uh, there will be an encoder in there for the new AV1 format. So you can play even a very high compressed video stream for that. Mm. So yeah. Again, playing this is fine. Editing, probably not so much. If you edit this, you know what you're getting into because this would be slow. This would be like editing on the laptop to be quite mm. honest. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, we can't show you guys 4K because this video is only published at 1080. So, you know, it's like. People showing you a picture of a television, look how good the picture is. Well, <laughs> the picture is what you can see on your Absolutely, screen. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Well, it, yeah, that's working just great for that purpose. Yeah, okay. perfect. Yeah. Can we play some games? We can play some games. We don't need to show Office, right? Uh, yeah. Everybody has seen a text edit in their life. Everybody's seen a text edit. Yeah, yeah let's yeah. go for some more. Let's go so, for some fun. Let's go for something more interesting. Yeah. Let's play some games. <laughs> okay, and now we have something that looks like it was programmed for Windows 95. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I was bound to say that. I don't get, I don't get it, but Jet does get it. So Jeff. I love this game. I'm playing this for ten years now, and uh, you know I'm old, so my reflexes aren't as fast anymore. And I still can play Minecraft. Uh -huh. And Richard never played this, so I said, okay, this is what a casual gamer probably would play Minecraft. You know, mm -hmm. you want to play this, uh, you can play this. You don't need to be really good in that. If you want to build something, you simply build your stuff, and. Um, it's obviously popular because they made a movie. They made a horrible movie with that. Okay. Don't watch the movie. Don't watch the movie. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't. Okay, so we're in the game. It seems to be running reasonably well, I guess, for this little machine. I haven't played this game, so I'm not quite sure how it would run on my high-end graphics card. Well, on your high-end graphics card, we can switch all the fancy op options. Okay. Uh, we, 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 we tweaked this. We turned down some of the options, and I, okay. I normally have my mouse inverted. So uh, I'm a bit struggling here, but, you know, for running around, yeah, okay. Okay, you can do Minecraft on this one. Oh, good, good. Yeah, and I think uh, yeah, for a casual gamer again, this would be fine. Yeah. Oh, look, a cow. <laughs> <laughs> it is a cow. Well, <laughs> well or, or a bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a Picasso cow. Yeah, this is a Dali. Uh, a Dali cow, a yeah. Dali cow, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, interesting. You know what you do normally here? You punch wood. This is the first okay. thing. Okay. Yeah. And then. And then you build stuff. Okay. Should the remainder of that be stuck to the ceiling? Yeah, it doesn't fall down. Gravity in Minecraft works weird. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that is running. So I'd say for casual gaming, retro gaming. Oh, as retro well. gaming. There you got a point. Okay, let's switch to retro gaming. Okay. And look here is Laura in all her pixelated glory. What yeah. is this? 300 by 200 or something? Something like yeah. that. Something like that. So let's just escape the little entry bit. And here she is. She's looking good, the girl is. Okay, so a while since I've played this, but uh, this does not use like the WASD keys that you would think, yeah. Is it where some wolves come down here in a minute? Uh, I think there were bats. This is where the bats are. Yeah, so Laura is running really well on this little machine. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm fine. <laughs> I went through the gaps. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this is not a open Lara thing. This is just a plain old DOS box that runs uh, the original XA from 1996. Yeah, and I've just remembered, yes, 1996. Yeah. I've just remembered if we jump up here, there's a secret up here or something. Yeah, somewhere there's a secret. No, that's where you first come in. Right, so. We, oh, of course, and I always went uh, directly to the. Yeah, so you never turned around. So this is where we actually have these things. Yeah, just clip my foot there. And then there's somewhere down here is a, let's see, is a big black hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the this, way this, is the, the, yeah. this is where you have to go. Yeah, I knew there was yeah. something up here. Yeah. So, yeah, up we go, up we go. Now you're getting bats. Now we're getting bats. <laughs> there they are. Here, yeah. co here come the bats. Yeah, and to all your animal lovers, sorry for killing bats, but uh, they're bad for your health. Yeah. Just think vampire and don't worry about it too much. Okay, so yeah, this is working quite well. It's running fine, yeah. Running absolutely fine. Okay, so I'll give you my thoughts and then Debt will agree with some or disagree. Debt's thoughts, but first of all, it's silent. This is silent. I'm sure there is a cooling fan in it, but it doesn't run warm. Or at least not hot, okay. So silence I like very much. The little caddy, that's my favourite thing about this, and that to me sets us apart from other machines. And yeah, the thing draws what, 10 watts of power, so if you do have a machine running all the day when you're in the office or the workshop or all night at home, I mean, this is not gonna draw any near as much power as a desktop PC, and it's gonna save you money just in that respect, electricity, yeah? So Deb, what were your thoughts on this one? Well, you know, for about five years ago, these, these machines wouldn't be possible. This is something very new, and for normal office use, and this would be a lot of people who say, okay, I just want to have my internet surfing, my word processing, my Excel thingamajig. This is absolutely fine. They do a great job with these mm. machines. And uh, the 500 gig, 500 gig hard drive, it's yep. 500 gig. You, for normal office use, this will last you for ages. Yeah. And if you need more storage, just put a drive in the car, yeah. which I've done. Yeah. Yeah. I love the uh, silent approach, so you don't have a yeah. little fan that drives you mad, because uh, I hate these. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and for the casual game, we tried this yet. Well, yeah, that well, works fine. So something's in your lunch break. Yeah. yeah. And price of this, I mean, there are similar machines around. The price is right for this machine. If I have any special deals or links or coupon codes, I'll put them in the video description. And if you're looking for a little machine, yeah, go ahead with this one. I like it. Yep, go for it. Okay, thanks for watching. See you all soon again on Learning Electronics Repair. Ciao for now. Ciao for now.